Welcome to another build project here. Got the uh, Walters plant number four. It's a really good kit. This one went together really nice. About to get into some brickwork here. I take uh, some water-based acrylic. Uh, this is this isn't very expensive stuff. I add in some water. I want to thin this out. So I thin it. I get a little bit of gray just to give it a little bit of that mortar color. Now mix this up pretty good. Uh, pretty thin, about like milk or a little bit thicker. I'll add a little bit of glass cleaner just to help it break the surface tension. And I just apply this. Uh, I take a, a pretty heavy brush and I just uh, dab it on all over the model here. Give it time to, to kind of drain into the, the mortar joints. Uh, this might take me 10 minutes to do one. I'll apply it and then I come back and I pick up the excess. What I'm doing in between here is I'm rinsing the brush out, I'm wringing it out, drying it, and then I'll come back and pick up all this extra that's kind of hanging in the corners. And then I'll do the sides the same way. And I'll get this applied. Uh, like I say, this this it usually takes a couple of uh, couple of applications. I'll get this done. I'll let it dry overnight. Take a look at it. See if it's good enough. Because it does fade. Uh, and when you start putting your weathering powders on, it'll fade even more. So uh, if you use a dark paint uh, for the brick color, then you're you'll be allowed more white to go onto the face. So, uh, but here I'm just putting in some variation. I'm putting in a little bit more here letting it set, let it dry, uh, just kind of just kind of want to get some variation going. Here I'm just test fit and see what it looks like. This was an extra piece, I didn't use this piece, but uh, it gives you a totally different look of a, a background building. Now I've already done everything else on the, the rest of this model as far as painting and stuff. I've already added the glass to the windows and uh, I'm just ready to start gluing a lot of this together. I have another video out there, a few, uh, on paint and stuff. Now these windows were kind of nice. They got a little bevel at the top. You can see this. They only fit in here one way, which is good for me. Otherwise, I'd have upside down windows. I'll just glue these up and get them put in there. There is a pretty good detail video if you're interested in this brickwork. Uh, which one it is but there's there's a couple more out there so I get all these windows placed in get them glued and generally I'll let these sit a while before I do any more I'll set them up with these one two three blocks give them time to dry uh, they'll come back later sometimes the next night or whatever this was a really good model it went together really nice it was really square it was really flat pieces weren't warped uh, instructions were perfect and everything everything with this model uh, was a uh, uh, right on uh, and if you haven't done a Walters model before this would be a great model to start with it was an easy deal so I'm using these one two three blocks just to help square everything up uh, as the as the glue dries I'll I'll set these in there and make sure everything squares here I'll put the base on. Get that glued in. Yeah, constantly checking my my squareness here. I guess these are what the concrete base of the building here. And yeah, there's two little pieces that are on the sides, and I'm clamping those on. You see here with a clothespin, a little clamp here. Still using the one, two, three blocks to help keep everything square. Once all that dries, I'm ready to move on to the next piece here you see this uh, roof was only three pieces uh, glued together and painted now what I'm doing here is I'm hitting every uh, surface that's gonna meet with some glue get that set in there thing about these Walters models too is they have yeah you know, they do pretty good on the guides and stuff they get things set in so that whenever you put it on it actually sets straight so you don't have to do a whole lot of 
eyeballing. These little, uh, I guess these are just concrete things go on top of this brick here and uh, kind of sped this up a little bit, but uh, these little square chiclet pieces actually have a way they go on. I think I zoom in on this. Yeah, see they have a little beveled edge on one side. Painted those a little brown, a little brown color. Here I'm going to put the railing on the stairs. I've already cleaned this. I painted it. I had to clean the uh, paint out of these little holes before I did this. So wasn't a big deal. I'll get these in there. Uh, get them glued in. I'll test fit them too before I, I glue. Uh, just to make sure they're going to go in there so I don't get a bunch of dried glue in these holes. I'll make sure those railings are straight. Now I'm trying to get the glue kind of on the inside so it doesn't ooze out whenever I press this up in here. And I'll set a one, two, three block just to let it sit there for a while and dry. Beauty about that is that you get the get it on the glass. Uh, the glass is flat, it's square, and uh, so doing things like that uh, really makes sure that you get uh, your pieces on there straight and square. And I got this uh, paper I put in the back. You see the window glaze, uh, the reflection uh, really adds a lot to the model. Adds a whole new dimension to it. What I'm doing here is mixing up some paint. I'm going to paint the window sills. Now, I, I generally just get this front part of the window sills on, on my models. I, I'm, I'm not real steady, so uh, generally you look down on a model and you really want to get the tops of them, but uh, I, I find it works just fine like that. And I'll go around the model here too and uh, just do some touching up. You see how those windows reflect, it really adds a lot to the model. Here I'm getting some weathering powder together. This is Bragdon Enterprises weathering system. I'm sure you've probably seen it in my other videos. What I'm doing here is I'm using a little bit of this rust color and I'm just going around and kind of mixing it up on the brick a little bit, give the brick some variation. Here I'm using a dark real brown. Uh, just kind of adding some to uh, different parts of the model, uh, dirty it up a little bit. Uh, generally, you want to go down with your with your weathering powders wherever you're at. And here, this is a high traffic area, of course, where the door is at. I'll generally spend some time around the doors and ramps and stairs, and uh, that's just a that's a spot where a lot of people move in and out of the buildings. So. Uh, like handprints or stuff on the wall. <laughs> so I'm still using this dark real brown, just kind of going over and kind of toning down, really. Uh, you know, anywhere I have some paint and stuff. Now I've got some charcoal. Uh, this is a black. And uh, th this I'll just use like on the windows themselves. I'll, I'll just draw it down on all the windows uh, so that it, it gives it. Uh, uh, a really nice look. See how it's darker under the window seal. Here I'll scratch it up a little bit. You know, as people move stuff in and out of this building, and uh, we'll scratch up stuff. So I just add some little scratches. Come back and kind of dust it up again a little bit, and kind of see little scratches as people move stuff in and out of there. Scratch up the pavement there. That's it. This was a really good model. Straight. Really, really nice model. Went together really easy. If you guys like this video, please click the thumbs up. And uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. I appreciate you guys. Y'all take care.